This is Ray's magnetic pole flip motor. It is actually running right now. Let's get a little bit of a measurement. See there, the uh, voltage is three volts. It's running at uh, 0.04 amp. Okay, let's write that down. That'll be the considered in the running mode. And I'll give you the measurements. 12 inch for the bar, shaker bar. 15 inches for the attachment over to the motor. It has like a little cam on it. And the bar is a quarter inch by two inch. It can be a bolt or an iron bar. And let's see how many cycles per second it's running at. Somewhere around 570 cycles per second. And uh, I'd earlier done without the drive magnet, and we'll see what it does. What we're seeing here is a stationary magnet. This is three-quarter by one by two inch neo magnet set in there where it's divided the north and the south down the center. That makes a particular situation. And when you turn this off, it'll make more sense. But right now, it's, it's going in between an unbalanced tension state and also the balanced tension state. And see how, as the bar goes to the north side, it's more north than south. Then that'll pull it over towards the south, and then the opposite occurs. So it bounces back and forth, almost like a spring. But the strange thing about it, a spring, when you play pinball machines or that type of thing, the strength of the tension in the spring when you pull it gives the same amount of output uh, strength also. So there's no gain. You pull in, say, five pounds, you let out five pounds, there's no gain. But this is kind of odd. This one we'll see when we take the magnet out that the whole system slows down. So this springing and bouncing back and forth, flipping the states of the iron bar between north and south, it does gain. So there's something here very unique and strange. Okay, let's take this baby out of here and we'll see what's going on. Uh, let me go ahead and make sure you can see everything there. And you can hear it starting to, well, let me see. Okay. Do this the right way. You hear it slow down there. I'm taking the stationary magnet out of there. You can hear it slow down. This shouldn't do that. A stationary magnet you shouldn't be able to get any power out of it. If you put more magnets in a motor or generator, you gotta spin it harder to get more power out of it or a uh, motor, same thing. So right now we're gonna get a reading of the cycles per second and also the uh, 
the power requirement. It's at 3 volts yet, but now it's drawing more current, 0.06. So, let's get a reading on the RPMs, cycles per second. 414, 406, 411, 415, 16, 19, 15. We can call it uh, 420 cycles, quite safe. So there, it actually lost cycles per second. So we're going to say 420. Four hundred and twenty cycles per second, and it's still at three volts. Now it is using 0.06. Before we had three volts, but only 0.04. So we have somewhere 150 cycles, 150 cycles that we gained. by putting the drive magnet in there. And that's just like putting another battery in there to give it a little bit more juice. Or if you were using solar energy, you would be using the solar power to do that. But here we've used a stationary magnet, which is part of the whole uh, thing I'm making this video. This shouldn't be happening. And this is just an iron bar there. So we'll go ahead and Set her up one more time. Here it speed up a little bit. Okay, there it stopped. Kind of a good thing to happen to see how it starts up again. We may not get that four. Have to play around with it quite a bit. There we go. See our RPM now. You can hear it speed it up. Again, it shouldn't be happening by placing a magnet in there. Uh, you don't get anything out of a stationary magnet. Okay, let's see what the cycles per second. I played around with that a little bit more before I get that back up to 570. by 60 so there you have it uh, there again we have the operation of it the balanced tension and the unbalanced tension and somehow I don't really know I I have theories but most of my theories aren't much <laughs> so anyhow you can see what's happening the the data presents that there is an energy being inputted into the system itself. I'm going to show you the place I get the motor, the little DC motor that I had. don't know if that'll show up. It's a uh, from, they're only like a dollar twenty, but it's all electronics. That's where I, I buy most of my things. You can look in there for different types of motors. Oh, 
I'm a simple setup. I had something like this uh, oh, a few months ago, but I thought it was the coil that was doing the uh, extra energy input, but I found it was the, the bar itself. So I'm going to shut the whole thing down. And you can see that little quarter inch by two inch bar or bolt there. And that's the one when it, it bounces back and forth, it becomes more uh, north or north or south. And then it plunges back and forth. It wants to equal itself in tension. And that going back and forth is adding more powers just like adding another battery or another little motor in there and if you're using a spring uh, that wouldn't really work because there's no uh, added power with a spring but there is with this so I don't know why or what but anyhow have fun with this I thank you very much if you enjoy uh, this type of work that I've been doing uh, you can see my little donation for coffees I'll get her going again Pull it out. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe not. Kind of wedged in there pretty good. Let's see what the speed is now. 500. See what the cycles per second is now. About 400, 11 in that range. So I hope you enjoyed this. Have a good day inventing. Make every day count.